Hi, I'm Mike Swanbaum, and with this problem I'm going to show you how you can find the specific heat for a material uh, given that you know the initial temperature of that material and the initial temperature of a bath of water into which you put that material. So here's the problem. We have 15 liters of water with an initial temperature of 21 degrees C. We put in a 2,570 gram block of material into it. Uh, and that block of materials at initial temperature of 98 degrees and then we close the lid and we wait for it to reach equilibrium the equilibrium temperature it reaches is 28 degrees C and so we need to find the specific heat capacity for the block of material so the basic idea here is that the change in the amount of thermal energy in the water is going to be equal to the change in the amount of thermal energy in the material. And since the material is cooling down and the water is heating up, we are actually talking about an energy loss in the material and an energy gain in the water. So the basic equation that we use with all of these is that the, we have mass times the specific heat capacity times delta T is equal to the change in the amount of thermal energy. This is what we're going to use on this problem as well. Alright, so first we'll work with the water. Uh, we have 15 liters of water. All right, So 15 liters, that is not actually a mass unit just yet, and so I am going to take that 15 liters and multiply by the density of water and one of the statements of density of water is one kilogram per liter. And that gets me to mass for the water. Next I'm going to put in the specific heat capacity of water. And the last thing we'll do for water is we will put in the change in temperature, and the change in temperature of the water is going to be 28 degrees C minus 21 degrees C. Okay, and this has to be equal to the change in energy of the material. And so that is going to be, we have 2,570 grams And it looks like all of my heat capacities over here are all in joules per kilogram degree C. So I actually don't want this in grams, I want it in, it in kilograms. And so I'm going to multiply by uh, one kilogram over a thousand grams. Okay. Then, specific heat capacity for this material, that's what we're trying to find. And then lastly, uh, we have the change in temperature. And we're actually going to express this one as uh, 98 degrees minus 28 degrees. Because what we're talking about is a heat gain in the water and a heat loss in the material. Alright, so there's my equation. Uh, I believe we should probably check on this. All of the units should uh, work themselves out. The liters cancel, kilograms cancel, degrees C cancel these. That leaves me with joules on the left side. Here we've got grams that cancel. And uh, so what we end up with uh, for C sub P whenever we solve for it will be joules per kilogram degree C. So that seems like it works out just fine. Alright, so we'll put in 15 times 4180 times the difference between 28 and 21. This is going to be equal to 
times. I'm going to go ahead and put in my variable here. I'll save my division by a thousand for last. And we'll multiply that by 98 minus 28. And again, saving that division for last, I'll put divide by a thousand. So this ends up giving me 2439.7. And this is in joules per kilogram degree C. This is C sub P for the water, or uh, excuse me, for the material. All right. And therefore, I would choose A. Hope this has been a valuable exercise. If you liked it, please hit like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you later.